Hey my amazing people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a vertical scroll section for free using Elementor and the premium add-ons for Elementor. Our vertical section will look just like this over here. Someone can navigate through the content as well. You can use the dots navigation to navigate through the different slides or sections. And as well, you can use the premium vertical scroll navigation or menu to navigate through your sections. I'll as well show you how you can only use the dots navigation and disable the menu navigation. Just like this over here. Now when we update, we don't have the menu navigation. As well, you can choose to use your Elementor header as your header for your vertical scroll page. By coming under settings, I'll change this page layout from Elementor Canvas, to the default layout that will actually show a header for our vertical scroll page. Now when I come back over here to our preview, you realize that now we have a header that appears on our website that has a vertical scroll. Awesome! If that is something that interests you and you want to see how to create such a section or a vertical scroll section in your Elementor website, let's get started. Inside my Elementor editor, I'll add a new section. And inside that section, it will be a one column section. I'll add my vertical scroll widget. It's called the premium vertical scroll by the premium add-ons for Elementor. The vertical scroll widget or feature comes in the free version of the premium add-ons for Elementor. By pressing command E, I can jump straight to the plugins area. Inside the premium add-ons for Elementor widgets and add-ons, this is where the vertical scroll feature is. So you have to make sure that it is enabled, so it should be in green. Back inside our editor, with our vertical scroll section selected, we can choose either to use Elementor templates or section IDs. In this case, we are going to be using the Elementor templates. So to add a template, we are going to say add an item. And from over here, we can choose from a number of templates that we have already created in our Elementor website. So if you don't know how to create Elementor templates, let me just take you through. To create a template that we are going to use in our vertical scroll section, you can simply say add a new section. I'll select my section, I'll make it full width, I'll remove the column gaps, and I'll give it a minimum height of VH90. I'll come over here to the background. Still with the premium add-ons for Elementor, you can choose to add an animated gradient. I'll enable that feature. I'll add an item, and that will be our first color. I'll add another item. This will be our second color. You can enable the wave effect and control the animation speed. And you can as well change the angle at which the animation is rotating. Inside my section, I can add a number of widgets from headings, text widgets, buttons, images. So to have a section that looks just like this over here. Come over here, select your section, right click on that section and say save as a template. Give it a name. I'll close this and I will as well delete this section. I'll first of all update, I'll reload the page, select your vertical scroll widget, come to sections, with your templates content type selected, you're going to select a template and that is our template demo. We're going to come back to the main section and change the content type to full width. And with the height option, we're going to set it to the minimum height of 100 VH. I'll update. And boom, here we have our first template showing up in our vertical scroll section. So now you know how you can get started creating templates in Elementor. I'll show you another way. This was kind of a shortcut. By hitting Command E, I'll go straight to the Elementor templates area. And there is an option called sections. And these are all the available template sections that are created. So in this case, I can as well say add a new section. This section won't have a location. And I'll give it a name over here. You create that template. You can choose from the already pre-existing blocks. I'll not do that. And here I can now add content to my section, just like we did before. Once you are done, you simply just say publish, and that will now save your section in your templates area. So in this case, I don't want to create another template. I'll simply just close this. I'll close over the templates area and come back into our Elementor editor. I'll select my premium vertical scroll. And with our content type selected, which is echoing to the Elementor templates, I'm going to add sections. 
In this case, I've already created my section that we are going to show in this tutorial. The first section is called the vertical scroll one. I'll add another item, vertical scroll two. Add another item, vertical scroll three. Add another item and five. I'll now update. Let's go to the preview. These are our sections or sub templates. And this is the navigation that comes along with a vertical scroll widget. And when I go back to the very first section, now when I scroll, that's how it looks like. And still we can navigate through these sections. Beautiful. We are going to have to eliminate the white over here on our section by coming back into our editor. Select the section, come over here to the columns gap, and we're going to say no gap. I'll skip the navigation option for now and go straight to the scroll settings. I don't want to do any changes over here because all looks good. Now let's go and make some styling for our vertical scroll navigation. This over here. Under navigation, we have the navigation dots enabled and the position is horizontal position of the right hand side and the vertical position is in the middle of the page. The shape that we are using are circles and we enable that we want to use as well tooltips. The tooltips is the text that appears once I hover over an item here. To add tooltips to the navigation, we simply have to type the name followed by a comma. Just like you see over here. So for every menu item, I've added a tooltip for it, for the welcome section, sketchbook section, the artist section, the series section, and my work section. Once that is done, we are now simply going to update. Once you update, we can now check out our preview. Now when we come over here and hover over our dots, you see that now we have the tooltips showing up. When I click on the artist section, that straight takes me to the artist section. When I click on the series section, takes me straight to the series section. My work section, straight to the my work section. Back into our editor, we want to style up these dots over here. Under style, dots, the dots color is going to be this color, which is a purple. Active color is going to be a transparent color of our first color. And the dots border color is going to be white. I'll come and select the container. For the background color, I'm going to give it our purple. Update. Beautiful. Now let's go and style up our tooltips. Under our editor, select the tooltips option under navigation dots. Set the tooltips color to white and the tooltips background to our purple. I'll leave the rest on the default settings. Back to our preview. Now when I hover over the first section, see how now our tooltips look like. Now let's look into the responsive settings of our sections or our vertical scroll with a responsive mode selected. I'll choose a tablet device for the start. From the preview over here, looks good. Let's look on a mobile device. Start with the first hero section, looks good. Second hero section, the artist hero section. To make sure that your sections are responsive once they are showing up in your vertical scroll section, you have to make sure that once you are creating them, you set up their responsive settings so you don't fall into issues once you're setting up your premium vertical scroll. Question, how about if you want to use a custom navigation that shows up over here instead of having your header? Back into my editor, I'm going to come to settings and I'm going to change the page layout to Elementor Canvas. That will hide my header. Now we have the whole section for our premium vertical scroll. And when I scroll, looks way better and beautiful. So to enable a custom navigation for our premium vertical scroll, we're going to come back into our Elementor editor, select our premium vertical scroll widget, come to content and under navigation, we're going to enable a navigation menu and you can enable it to be either on the left hand side or on the right hand side. I'll make it to be on the right hand side. I'll add items to my navigation. This is a welcome item. Add another sketchbook artist series my work or my works. I'll position it on the page 
I'll give it 35 pixels offset top and 35 pixels offset on the right hand side straight under style navigation menu I'm going to change the text color to white the hover color is also going to be white and the background color will be our purple but a tint of that purple I'll give a border radius of 35 pixels to have our rounded borders you can as well even make our background color a little bit darker something like that on active we're going to change our text color to yellow hover color will be white and the background color will be our purple so I'll just come and get this color code and come and look at the preview looks like my hover is not working I'm going to change this text hover color at normal from white to our yellow I'll now come and preview now when I click on any of these items, it will take me straight to that section that is under the artist and the my work section. And the beauty is that this menu navigation is also linked to the dots navigation right here. When I click for example on series, you see automatically it highlights the series section and the series section shows up here. The same for sketchbook and the same for my works. That's how you can create a vertical scroll section using the premium add-ons for Elementor for free. In case you have any questions or comments, please let me know down in the comment box of this video. And if you like the video, please give it a like. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Have a good time and goodbye.